This is El Paso, Texas, located in the Chihuahuan Desert, where these fans are fired up for this matchup to begin. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Texas El Paso Miners and the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. Hi, folks. I'm Brad Nessler. Joining me in the booth, the coach Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Today, someone will be crowned Conference USA champion. The question is, who will it be? UTEP has many playmakers on this defense, but there are none bigger than this guy lining up at the free safety spot. Though he's most well known for his great coverage skills, he can also come up and lay some licks as a tackler. We're hoping for a great game, so let's bring you the coin toss. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. They're lining up in the 5-2. UTEP changing their play. On play action. He's on the run, rolling out to the right side. Under pressure, and he's taken down at the 24. He was lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage on that scramble. They line up at the 24. Second down, Texas El Paso. Lines up in the double wing. He's changing things up. Looking to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Now he tries to buy some time. Batted away. That's it's just a great defensive play. It won't Number look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. It's third and nine. Ball on their own 24. The Miners line up in a double wing. The Miners audible to something else. Nice play fake. He fires this one. And it's caught. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely right. The reason why this play worked is that the play action throws the defense just enough to allow the receiver to get open. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 47. They line up in an eye. Trying to change the play. First down, look at the throw. He's rolling right, looks, he's still going. He goes down at the 24-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Yep, you gotta stay on your toes every play. Otherwise, you allow plays like that. From the 24-yard line, first down. Texas El Paso using an audible. He drops back. Now he's scrambling. Got him again. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. What a great play call there. They came right out of the gates and attacked the defense through the air on first down. Yeah, it was a really nice gain on the pass. Let's see if they go back to the air again on the next play. This offense has a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. Number 25 calls an audible. He's looking to pass, and they got it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. It's second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. Number 25 comes to the line with three wide. The Miners audible to something else. Drops back to pass. Short pass to the right. Almost picked off. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. Number 25 is lined up under center. Number 25 doesn't like what he sees. Looks to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Touchdown, Miners. Kirk, how about that touchdown? I thought the quarterback made a nice read. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. The Miners come out in a double wing. 
Number 25 calls an audible. They'll throw on first down. He throws it, swatted away, and that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Number 25 lines up under center. Number 25 changes the play at the line. Back to pass. Stepping up. Almost intercepted. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. Was it one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen? He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. I bet you that defender thought it was a pretty pass. Too bad it bounced off his hands. That should have been an INT. He's changing things up. Setting up the play action. Scrambling around. The quarterback didn't have much. They'll start at the 15. First and 10. Number 25 is under center. He may have changed things up here. First down, look at the throw. Looks, and they get the sack. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the six-yard line. The offense is lined up in the flex bone. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! They're calling an audible. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Man, alive. These are frustrating penalties, coach. You need to discipline these players. Otherwise, they keep making stupid penalties. So your players probably never committed any penalties, right? Oh, yes, they did. But they paid the consequences. Navajo! Navajo! Thunder! Thunder! Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. And this one's broken up. Boy, that was a good defensive effort there. The ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to it. Nice play. They've got their backs against the wall. Ball on the three. Number 25 comes to the line with three wide. The Miners changing their play at the line. Drops back to pass. Looking. Has it to the senior. And he's brought down at the 37. That play looks a little familiar, guys. Yeah, this looks a little familiar because it's the same pass play as the one before it. They're able to hook up and almost break at that time. Number 25 is under center. Number 25 changes the play at the line. He drops back. Can't find anyone open. He decides to run with it. He's into the open field. Number 15 makes the stop. 13-yard gain on the play. They line up at the 50. It's first down. UTEP is going with a flex bone offense. Number 25 calls an audible. Gets the ball. No, they make it. And they got him. There is not too much the quarterback can do there. Yeah, the protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Number 25 lines up in the shotgun. Three receivers split out. We've played a quarter, and we're all tied up. The score is tied. Second and long. Ball on their own 43. Number 25 changes the play at the line. Two, two. 
play action. Now he's scrambling. And we got an injured player on the field. They'll go to work at the 13. First and 10. The Miners line up in a double wing. Lucky, lucky. Number 25 calls an audible. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Complete. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. From their own 14-yard line, second down. They'll line up in a double wing set. The Miners changing their play at the line. He drops back. Can't find anyone open. And now he's going to run. Out of bounds at the 27. With the carry. 13 yard gain on the play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. Number 25 comes to the line under center. Three receivers split out. UTEP changing their play. Back to pass. He scrambled. Fires. Catches it. Whoa. He just took a lick. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. From their own 47-yard line. It's first down. They come out with three wide receivers. Try to change the play. Drops back on first down. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. And they make the stop at the 31. A big gain on the completion. Yeah, they got a big game here, but I question the play calling in this situation. You can't expect to be successful calling the same play over and over again. I think it's a matter of having the confidence in your offense and saying, hey, we're going to throw the ball. Now come up and stop us if you can. Might have been some early movement up front. He just flinched. Brad, one of the most frustrating penalties is a false start because they are the easiest penalties to avoid. It just takes some focus. So the penalty makes it first and 15. They're calling an audible. Setting up the play action under heavy pressure. And he's got him again. And he put a lot of air under that ball. Yeah, he kind of threw it up for grabs, but you can't really question the result there. That was a big play. The Miners call for a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Number 25 comes up to the line with three receivers split out wide. He's changing things up. Looks to pass. Scrambling around. He keeps it. And now the ball is loose. Number 22 with a recovery. And this could be a big return. And the ball changed hands now after the fumble. This is a great bonus for this defense. They are taught to attack and try to strip the football. And this is a result of their aggressive play. And this linebacker is in the middle of everything. And that was a great recovery to get the possession of the football. UTEP trying to put a drive together here to tie it up before halftime. The Miners come out with the wing backs. They're in the flex bone. The Miners audible to something else. He drops back. He's going to try and scramble. They knock it down. Incomplete. How about that play? They tried to squeeze that one in there. Forget about it. They line up at the 20. It's second down. The Miners line up in an eye formation. They're changing the play. 
Drop back to pass. He's on the run. He throws it. Number 24 with the interception. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. The quarterback is really upset with him. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. They'll line up in a double wing set. Navajo, Navajo. UTEP using an audible. He drops back, steps up, looking, and he pulls it down. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. They pick up some positive yards that time. Well, here you get a chance to see the ability of this quarterback, his arm strength, the middle toughness to be able to deliver the ball on time. And remember, this play was well covered by that defense. Kirk, I agree with you. I thought the defense had that one covered. Terrific job by the quarterback. Texas El Paso changing their play. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. He's going to take off. He might have a chance. Steps out of bounds. Around the 45-yard line. 11-yard gain on the play. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Miners come out with the wing backs. They're in the flex bone. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. He looks to throw on first down. Looking. And now he's going to improvise. Got an opening. Knocked out of bounds at the 16. On the carry. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. The Miners line up with three wide. Patriot, Patriot. He's changing things up. Drops back to pass. Looks to the end zone. And that one's incomplete. And he overshot his receiver on that one. Well, here the quarterback needs to relax down near the end zone. Step up and make a better throw. Number 25 is lined up under center. Under, under. The Miners audible to something else. Drops back to pass. Rolling out to the right side. He'll take it himself. They finally have him, but now it's first and goal. Nice run there. And I got to tell you guys, the offense is making things look pretty easy on this drive. Yep, the defense just hasn't been able to make a play. They could have shut him down a few times, but they just haven't been able to do it. Now it's time to step up. The defense is changing their play. He's looking to pass. He flares it outright. Got it. Touchdown, UTEP. He tossed to his reliable running back who made the... They'll set up shop at the 21. First and 10. Number 25 lines up under center. Big dog, big dog. UTEP using an audible. 98 weasel, 98 weasel. Drops back to pass. He's scrambling. Here they come. And now he's going to run. Got an opening. He's still moving. And they push him out at the 43-yard line. On the run, gain of 22 on the play. First and 10. Texas El Paso is going with a flex bone offense. Navajo, Navajo. He may have changed things up here. He drops back. He scrambled, throws it deep downfield. Swatted away. The Solid coverage the there by the safety. Three, he did a good job of avoiding pass interference. He got his hand on the ball, but he didn't touch the receiver. Second down, 10 yards to go. Number 25 is under center. Delta. Number 25 Delta. doesn't like what he sees. Easy, easy, easy. 
Looks to pass. Now he's scrambling. And it's caught. And now he makes a move. And he's tackled at the 26. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. The offense is lined up in the flex bone. UTEP using an audible. Drops back to pass. He's scrambling. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Chalk one up for the linebacker. It's hard to pick up this blitz because you never know where these guys are coming from. You know, that's why I consider the offensive linemen some of the smartest people on the football field. But it didn't look like it on that play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Texas El Paso comes out in a double wing. They're calling an audible. Drops back to pass. Scrambling around. It falls incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. They line up in the shotgun. He may have changed things up here. He drops back. He's on the run. Throws a bullet. Catches it. And he's tackled at the five. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. You drop back to pass and see zone. It's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows, I bet you. He's changing things up. He drops back, rolls right, goes to the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, UTEP. The pass was caught by the halfback, and they'll put up a six spot. Boy, I think he brings so much to this team. He's got passion for the football, and that's an intangible that gives him the edge. So the offense is going to go for two. They put everyone up on the line. The Miners, audible to something else. Looks to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Caught it, and the conversion is good. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. They'll go to work at the 28-yard line. Number 25 is lined up under center. Regular, regular, regular. UTEP using an audible. Drops back to pass. He's scrambling. There he goes. Has some daylight. He's still going, and he's shoved out of bounds at about the 41. 13-yard gain on the play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. The Miners line up in the flex bone offense. They're calling an audible. He drops back. Now he's scrambling. Number 28 with the pick. Tackle at the 43. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with soft hands. This kid can play. And that's the end of the third quarter. And we'll head into the final quarter of play with a score all knotted up.
They'll start at the 31. It's first and 10. UTEP is going with a flex bone offense. Number 25 changes the play at the line. Drops back to pass. Throws down the middle. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. How about that defense? Well, that's why he's on the field, to make plays like that. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 31. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. The Miners audible to something else. Looking to throw. Moves up in the pocket. Now he tries to buy some time. He goes out of bounds. At the 43. They line up at the 43. First down. The offense is lined up in the flex bone. Number 25 calls an audible. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Man, live. These are frustrating penalties, coach. You need to discipline these players. Otherwise, they keep making stupid penalties. So your players probably never committed any penalties, right? Oh, yes, they did. But they paid the consequences. Throw on first down. Rolls to the right. He's going to go for the home run. And they bring him down at the 30. Boy, did he fire that baby down the field. There aren't too many quarterbacks in the country who can make that throw. And the ones that can are playing on Sunday. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 30. They come out in a double wing. He may have changed things up here. Back to pass. He's under pressure. And it's caught. And he's tackled right away. Nice pass play. This is something they like to run. A little pass to the fullback. Here he has a little wiggle room and gets a nice pickup. UTEP comes out with two tight ends. Texas El Paso changing their play. He drops back. He's on the run. Under pressure. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. Three yards gain on the play. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 17. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. He's changing things up. He drops back. He's under some heat. Touchdown, Miners. The pass was right on target and goes for six. Man, that was a bullseye of a pass, and it left his hand in a real big hurry. And this will be pretty much it for this offense. They need to capitalize on this possession. They'll line up in a double wing set. The Miners changing their play at the line. Play action. Stepping up. And it's caught. He's tackled. Right around the 44-yard line. Our cameraman didn't even know who had the ball. I'm pretty sure the defense didn't either. The halfback did a heck of a job faking like he was running with the ball. <laughs> they were about to tackle him. From their own 44-yard line. First down. He may have changed things up here. UTEP lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. There you have it, folks, our EA Sports players of the game. They really earned it out there today. First down, look at the throw. Rolling out to the right side. Here comes the pressure. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44-yard line. He got what he could, and it wasn't much. They line up at the 44. Second down. 
They come out with a big set. The Miners changing their play at the line. He drops back under heavy pressure. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number 87 was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it third down. It's third down and long. And losing by a possession, I would expect them to have to go to the air. The Golden Eagles bring in the nickel package. They're calling an audible. Play action. Steps up in the pocket. Caught. To the 20. To the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. This quarterback is closing out a school record. Yeah, he's had one heck of a year throwing the football and is getting closer and closer to a single season school record for passing yards. Big, big conversion right here. Time is running out, and they need this one to tie it up. The Miners come out with the wingbacks. They're in the flex bone. The defense calls an audible. Back to pass. Short pass to the right. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. So the two-point conversion is no good. Here they try to put the ball in the air. Unfortunately, they were unable to convert. Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2000.